I don't like to paint canvases. One gang could run this city. A couple things about Los Angeles graffiti. Los Angeles graffiti is unique in uh, many ways because you're fighting uh, three three enemies when you uh, paint graffiti in Los Angeles. You're painting number one, the buff. You're painting, uh, painting all the time and getting cleaned off all the time. Number two, the cops, the law. Uh, getting chased, being spotted, ghetto birds, stuff like that. And number three, you're against writers that you don't even know, never heard of, and uh, probably will never even meet face to face. Meaning that you put a spot up, do a shot, do a freeway spot or something, whatever, and somebody might just go over you just because they like the spot. It has nothing to do with you, nothing to do with beef. It has to do with there's a million and one writers out here, and they're like roaches. They come out and go over anything they, they want to do because they don't understand or have any concept of what good is. They just want to go out and paint, which uh, kind of sucks. You know, if you uh, put your ass on the line all the time and some little kid goes over you, then on another level, it's kind of dope because they don't give a fuck. They don't care about the politics of graffiti. They don't care how many trains you painted or what cities you've painted or how big your name is, how much you sell your canvases for. You got capped. So, those are a couple things about Los Angeles that's kind of interesting. Uh, very competitive. Lots of shit going on. Everybody wants to be a movie star. One way or another. Um, I'm more partial to West Coast graffiti, the West Coast styles. I think it's a lot more creative and a lot more um, artistic. There's a lot of artistic value in West Coast graffiti. Um, but I do give uh, props and respect to New York and the whole East Coast for starting the uh, whole graffiti thing. I basically love letters. Not a big fan of uh, graffiti politicians. Uh, I'm not a big fan of West Coast, East Coast beef. Uh, not a fan of actually most graffiti writers in general because they're dicks. If you're a graffiti writer out there, you're uh, out there causing damage, whatever city you may be in. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 graffiti. You know, there's there's really no necessary rules. But uh, as I get older, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I don't really want to piss off too many people. You know, I I, I don't really feel that uh, my artwork should be on somebody's house or somebody's fence. I'm real select about what I put my stuff on now. The last thing I really want is someone to come outside and go, man, I hate this guy. Fuck him. Doesn't matter if the art's good or not to me. Um, I'm just a big believer in karma. What goes around comes around. So be kind of careful about what you're doing out there. It affects people differently.
laughing at everything. Where, where, where am I going to go with this movie? All right. It's nowhere. It's a graffiti movie. Okay. Tell me what you think about graffiti. Los Angeles graffiti. Mm, Who's I, your favorite writer? I think as long as that rat's in business, he should be shut down. <laughs> shut that rat down! for about five miles approximately and you can just go and go and go and I mean just just look around for a second who's gonna get you nobody's gonna get you it's kind of a it's just a, a carefree nice little area man you know I ain't trying to okay. trying to bust anybody around here or anything but these little fucking bastards come down here and they've been getting their little They've been getting our little fucking drainage shit shut off because we got gangbangers come down here. People that are up to no good. You know, we're painting art, dude. This ain't this ain't no this ain't no fucking little, little bullshit gangbanger shit we're doing right now. We just have fun. Painting a lot more now. That's good. Learning that craft, I guess. Um, the fucking the bunnies have transformed. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they are now. It's like this weird fucking. It's a snail bird. You know what the fuck? It, it's a snail. It's a fountain pen. I've heard it's a dog. Uh, nobody knows what the fuck it is, but it is definitely an icon, and I can do what the fuck I want with it. And uh, I'm very fortunate about that. Just ride on everything and get up everywhere. It doesn't matter what surface, fucking just do it. That's just kind of like how I go about it. I use every medium, I don't give a fuck. Don't be scared to have something look bad because it don't matter, you know. Get up, every, put up everywhere, let the monkey sort out the rest. Five years now. One day I decided to fucking go out and get up and that just came out. I wasn't even thinking about riding on shit at first. Basically because I didn't I wasn't like really absorbed in any of the culture. And then as I was doing it, you know, you start to see more, learn more, etc. And as that happened, I, I wanted to do like something bigger, so I started the We Pace thing. It was definitely an easier outlet than like to start painting. I started rolling with some RTH cats and riding with them constantly. And now it's kind of evolving into snail birds. I don't know. I think we have a different vibe than most of the crews in L.A. It's mainly riders. We're not about the bling. L.A. is mainly about the bling. You know, it's definitely very MSK, AWR-influenced. And, uh, and 
we're like the complete opposite. We're riders. We, we walk around. You know, we're catching the, the small spots and, and we're doing shit like dirty, I guess. Um, and we do support like you know getting up in every medium, where most crews don't. You know, they a lot of crews will talk shit about us every once in a while because of that. But at the same time, we fucking smash, and then they know they know our rep, so they shut the fuck up. Are you considering yourself a street artist or a graph artist? Uh. I consider myself more of a graph artist. Here's what separates it is that the street artists don't seem to understand the culture. If they did and they respected it and they went out of their way to show that they respected it, they would be considered more graph artists because, I mean, some of the glue I've used causes more damage than paint does. You just, you can't take it off. You've got to paint over it and that adds texture to the wall. Branded RTH, Los Angeles. Well, no one's Gorby. That's probably why I'm doing, having the interview being done. But, uh, yeah, it's most people call me, I guess. So my name's Gorby. I'm here living in uh, Santa Cruz, California, which is kind of like my hometown. It's a nice little spot. If you like surfing or smoking weed or hanging out or weird shit, it's a place to be. Uh, I did my first illegal piece in, like, 1993. Because I remember that like, the first bridge I went down was like right down there. It's a cool place called M-Line Bridge, which is like um, that dude tempt. From